So monsters, uh, the two themes that they really want to go for is they want to consume monsters or consume like other creatures, which is them essentially saying, hey, I'm going to eat this creature to then make it or give me its strength. The other thing they want to do is have uh, do a lot with um, weather. So we don't want Biting Frost in our hand. We do want the Ice Giant Seed. Then we're actually taking a quick look at the card. This card's going to be hard to play because I don't know what's in the deck. I don't think we really want the short. Oh, I don't know what's in the deck, so I guess we'll just keep things going. I think I'm actually okay. So when this guy dies, he gets a short on the battlefield. But I'd rather him have it this game than the previous, or than having him start with it next game. I shouldn't have kept Commander's Horn. And so we'll just start whittling down the siege row. So he just consumed a card from my graveyard to make this guy big. So here I think we're going to get Geralt because that'll make it a tie. Ooh, we can get that and just... Yeah, it's likely that we're going to... It's likely that we're going to get more frost available. Sure, steal things from my graveyard. And you put it in... Okay, it's actually a siege card. So we'll go ahead and do that. This guy gets huge because there's frost on his side of the board. Short's not going to be great, so we're just going to go ahead and play this guy next to that guy. Wish I knew if I had more copies of these in my deck, because this card gets really awkward if I don't. Just find out if we have another one of these guys. Okay, actually, we'll highlight them for me. Summon a wild. Oh, this isn't a wild hunt. This is a wild hunt, so I don't have another one of these in my deck. Awkward. Spawn a bronze wild hunt unit. Ah, eh, sure. Let's see what's in our deck. This is just straight learning what's in the deck. Oh, we get to just pick? That seems strong. Get that guy. Yeah. Got that guy, because that way, if he ends up still playing, then we get to... Um... I think I get rid of this horn. Let's play this guy. What's this guy do? Who's gonna pass? It makes him play more things. We want a frost effect, is what we're looking for. Plus yield, I'm pretty sure we're just gonna win. Clear skies, that's not what we want. I guess you actually just don't want this guy because we don't really have anything else. Perfect! That's just what we wanted. We'll play that. Uh, play Biting Frost in this row. Next we'll play this card because that makes Biting Frost deal 2 damage. Do we have another bite? Is do, do we think that the deck builders at the Gwent headquarters is nice enough to give us more Biting Frosts. Just gonna go ahead and 
Ooh, that was actually a good one to get. Chris. So we win because he only has four more power that he's getting. So let's just find out if the if we have three bunny frost in the deck or not. We do not. Thank you, Gwent creators. That's that. That's it. Perfect. Ah, starter decks. They're great, aren't they? Playing the monster deck just to get used to playing monsters. Because it's looking like that's going to be our base thing. Despite the fact that the Skull Tell, the uh, Green Clan, however you pronounce their names, are the clan that I favor the most. It seems fine. Uh, we are looking for... Oh, it's just the fact we get to tutor them. That's actually pretty sweet. Right, we don't care about you. We want you in the deck. And don't care about first light. Oh, perfect. Let's play this guy. Don't care where. Alright, let's get a frost on that. <laughs> so one card that exists in the game that's like the reason why I keep saying I shouldn't have been putting guys there. I think we're actually just going to go ahead and pass, too. No, not yet. Play this guy. This is another four. Yeah. That's good for us. So, as I was saying, one of the cards in the deck, or in the game, um, how much damage this does? Does three damage, that's still good. Um, is Drill Igni, where Drill Igni says that on a row where your opponent has 20 power or more, it'll scorch the highest, uh, the highest target on that row. And so a lot of times when you're actually just playing through the game, you want to be sure that you are not um, like putting all of your eggs in one row. I mean, there are some decks that want to do that, but like say we had say we had another one of these and we could make another seven guy. If he played Drill Agony, all three would die because all three are the highest power. It would just be a sad old time. You have Triss still? Let's get Triss. Hi Triss. In other news, questions that might arise are, have I played The Witcher? The answer is no. I have started Witcher 1 like a week ago because I have just been curious. Like I know that The Witchers are is a great series of games and I am definitely curious as to the stories behind them. And so I just started Witcher 1, which uh, is definitely dated. And uh, yeah, that's where I'm at. So we want to go ahead and Scorch before he plays his big guy, but I think we can give it another turn. I think, I, mean, I think no matter what, we're still winning. Our cards are awful. Play another 12 power guy. Yeah. How greedy do we want to get?
That's not gonna be too greedy. I'll scorch 15. I don't want to accidentally lose to simple. I don't, I don't think there's a possible like line of play that we can lose, but I don't want to accidentally find that line of play. Because he only has four power when he does this. I'm not a fan of this guy. I understand the point of him. You can get a lot of cards that care about when something is um, consumed. But as a whole, like all he's doing is adding four to the board. Go, go, go. No, those are the worst cards we want to see in our hand. We won't be able to summon those with this guy. We have two shorts in our deck. Our deck is so bad. Having two of these guys is fine. Uh... None of these cards want to be played first. Go. <laughs> That's fine. He has a friend. Go. Ah, that means you have all of them. Take it. Don't no, did that. Oh, it does do things. Aww. So locking something gets rid of essentially the ability on him. If he's already been boosted by like an effect, he'll still keep that boost. But given that it's the ability on him that says uh, to boost him, I'll just kill this guy. Got to play everything out. No longer going to play everything out. Yeah. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get back in the deck. I don't want you. If I can summon you, I don't want you. No, you have no center. Actually, no, no, we only have two things that... No, we have three things. All right. We have a game plan. Go. <laughs> Pick a row. I will... Sure. Rawr. Oh, if I had Scorch, it'd be so good. Hit this guy. Because this guy could be shrinking anyway. So there's a benefit to that guy, is that he'll... Oop. Is he gets to... Uh, essentially protect, because like... Gold cards aren't going to be dealt any damage in the frost, so he just is now 100% going to be that 22. Do you have another one of these in the deck? We do! Value. Value. We played Triss round one, right? There we get this guy. I shouldn't be doing this. I should just be, like, letting him go. Which I am now going to. Because we do still have more power. But. Oh, that's really good. Does he have the comeback? Does he have draw? Nope. <laughs> I wish the computer could calculate that it loses and just save time. Just be like, okay, yeah, I lose. Just get all these heroes, get all these packs. These kids. I meant to make a drink between that round. Whoopsies. This is the guy that I think we'll be using if we do end up um, going with monster. Because it's looking like our strongest monster is... Our strongest monsters that we've gotten are K 
caring about weather, and this guy just creates weather on a row. I like how the computer is programmed to like, like, they're highlighting this card right now. Now they're highlighting two cards right now. This is, this is not actually possible. The computer has three m mice on, the c on their side. Uh, short. Oh, you oh, you're just playing him. Ah, you're the fog plan. Oh, fog you. I'm just gonna counter your fog. Sure, your fog is still kind of countered. That big old guy. Should have waited. Play a big old guy. I think I have another big old guy. Well, if we pass the turn here, it'll be a tie. If, or like he still has to play another card. Yeah, sure. So we got value. I'm trying to think if I could get webcam up for these videos. Like probably just like right over the pass button. So I still have to roll to my deck. We'll just start plowing them down. Make these guys huge. So this guy's gonna get big over time. But once he gets at like once he gets bigger than these guys, we'll be able to scorch him. Now oh the double fog. Oh no, are we gonna lose? No, I don't think so. Oh no, I thought we had another one. Dude, that was really bad for us. Him him not attacking this guy was also really good for us. So we want wish I knew my deck. Uh we want to awkwardly play short here because that'll save more damage over time. That's not even true. Oh, that was a cabo. No, fog does highest damage. Yeah, fog does highest, so playing short there was actually correct. Oh, no. All right, so if we use this guy to deal four damage to this guy, he'll be down to five. Siri, you now you're so strong. Then we just want to. I think Geralt has to come out this turn. Or this game. Get that up there. Now that that's seven, we can scorch this turn. Oh, perfect. You played another one. Don't boost it. Boom. So we have to play this. Jeez, next turn we get to play a card and then play Triss. And hope that our opponent. Oh, Eddie and Siri. Oh, no. We're going to lose. We're going to lose so bad. Oh, I should have kept the first card. Go. Don't play Siri first. Yes! 
Yes, if he had played Triss first, then we, or Siri first, then we would have lost. Thank you, bad opponents. Hashtag shouldn't have won against Decent Computer. <laughs> I want to foil one of these guys. Actually, don't. I don't like Monster. Get out of here, Biting Frost. We don't want you. We want the guys that make you. Uh, Alright, we have three guys in that row, so that should be good. Uh, you're just unimpressive when their deck's not built around. I haven't even seen the Arch Griffin yet. That's actually going to be really good against them. This removes weather, and given their opponent just wants to play weather the whole time, seems good. Seems like a plan. Oh, we should have got. Oh no, we want this dwarf because it goes on the front line. As such. Yep. I think we actually are just going to hold off. that plan. Play this guy. Because I don't want him just to like play the weather from the row again. That's fine. Alright, oh, it just also just kills those guys. I forgot that it does that. Now he's gonna fog this row again. Good, those guys went back to that row. Gonna play another guy. Then we get to horn our guys. This could be a grand old time. Oh no! These two are gonna get the brunt of everything. That's unfortunate. Oh well. So it's just a lot of damage. Are you immune to what? Oh no, you boost your turn. Eh, okay, no, he passed, so we win. I'm thinking like, okay, if we pass and he passes back and our guys lose six health there. Super unfortunate. We do still have Frost in our deck. Decoy not really doing much for us. Clear skies, best card. Yeah, we won't be ahead in card advantage, so we're just gonna pass this turn. Good. Play more. Be bad. Do it. I don't like you. Well, you might be fine. Now, you, this card would have been good against a consumed deck. No! Actually, that's fine. That just means we get something else. Um, what card do we want? We can put that in that row for the DM. We don't have another Bundy Frost in our deck, so we're just going to get the highest power card. See if we can bait him into getting another, no, or just kill our guy. That works too. Let's say I can try and bait him into getting another fog out, which we might just still do. Let's have a draw. I just want to like play threats. That's something we can kill. That is something that will not go away once we get rid of the fog. Especially since he's adding a bunch of these guys to his deck, or at least he should be for that when he plays his fog again, so that when he does play his fog again, if he has another fog, that's when we clear skies to get rid of his fog. Get this over with. 
Aha! The empty dinosaur torch. BM. <laughs> BM against the computer. Yay! Yay! We did it. All right. So now we'll get. After we did the. After we beat this, we get Dagon, and then we can open some kegs and then try and build a deck. Gonna keep that. Don't care about this. Don't care about this. Don't care about this. This card seems bad in this pre-con. Well then. How about that? I'm gonna give you some fag. Or some of that. That's why I say about that. Give him some more fag. Give him some more fag. I keep calling it fag. We're gonna beat this. Now he's gonna put fog there. This is what he's point why? Why would you double fog? It doesn't do anything like that. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Just all of the fog. Fog you. <laughs> Alright, he did it. Um I'll just play that guy. That seems fine. Why would you even play him there? Yeah, I'll get the boost. He can go he can literally go in this row. It's a legal play to put him in this row. There's only <laughs> Okay. Sure. Alright, so that makes us want to do this now. That sticks around at the end of the turn. So I accept that we ha will probably lose this round. But we're going to set it up so that we have the card advantage on him. Alright. And we still have like four gold cards in their deck. Don't want that guy. Also don't want that guy. Well, a lot of his guys are small. We'll probably lose this. <laughs> oh my god, he has fog again. Stab it. Hey, saw Kreesa. Okay, the guy that's the biggest. Which I'm convinced I only have one of this card. Because we haven't seen him yet. I might be losing this. Hmm. Oh, that was an annoying card for him to play. Right there. Oh, which means we just want to do this. Lock that. He passes. We're going to take two. We still get our gold card in hand. His guy doesn't stick around because we locked it. We did it. And we get Droll. Yeah, this is perfect. Droll, go. Geralt, Geralt, I don't know. Perfect! We did it! We got Dagon. Dagon. We have Dagon. Dagon is gone. <laughs>